my deepest thanks and appreciation to Elena, to Carl, to all of you. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you, to see the vibrancy. This is what the Grove School of Engineering stands for. So on behalf of the Grove School of Engineering, I extend my warmest welcome to our distinguished alumni, our faculty, our students, and all our friends at the Grove School of Engineering. I'm delighted that you were able to take advantage of this opportunity for us to get to know each other better and for me to share my vision and immediate plans for the Grove School of Engineering. When I joined City College as the Dean of Engineering, I knew I was becoming part of a very special community, one that leads boldly in its quest to provide the best engineering education, bar none, and to attract the best faculty to guide that education. I'm an example of that boldness. In hiring me, City College, as you heard earlier, hired the first African-American female dean of engineering at an institution that is not an historically black college or university. Never shying away from a challenge and building on a series of career firsts as the first African-American to obtain a PhD in chemical engineering at Rice University, to be hired as a chemical engineering professor at Northeastern University, to be hired as a biomedical engineering faculty member at Georgia Tech, and to serve as president of the Biomedical Engineering Society. I'm accustomed to blazing new paths. And the opportunity to provide leadership for blazing new paths through the Grove School of Engineering was one that was too attractive for me to pass up. So what attracted me most to the deanship and to City College was the historic mission of access to excellence, carried out by and serving a deeply committed community whose values and beliefs were consistent with my own. I'm sure that we share the same attraction to City College and that there's much more that we share. When I have the pleasure to meet our alumni, to walk the halls of Steinman Hall, our floors, and engage with our students and the members of our community. I see a reflection of myself. I see first-generation students eager to make the most of their education. I see faculty who chose to come here to make a difference. I see alumni who are accomplished and who return to their alma mater to give back knowing what a difference the Grove School of Education made in their lives. I also see essential personal and organizational characteristics that define us and ensure our success. You know what they are. Grit, determination, resilience, resourcefulness, diversity in all realms from intellectual thought to cultural backgrounds, creativity, an entrepreneurial spirit, and importantly, a desire to impact society and the world at large. I grew up in a military family. My father was an enlisted member of the Air Force. And I became adept at adjusting to new places and cultures. I lived at home and I commuted to college. And I was, in some ways, a first generation student along with my dad simultaneously. So my dad was working on a bachelor's degree part time after retiring from the Air Force, working full time at the Veterans Administration, and raising a rambunctious family of five kids. <laughs> so we attended HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities. My dad was at Southern University of New Orleans, and he was funded, his work was financed by veterans' uh, benefits. And I was at Xavier University of Louisiana on a full scholarship. At Xavier, I received a sound foundational education that prepared me to excel at Rice University during my doctoral studies in chemical engineering. I know, and you know, as my parents instilled in me the power of education, and I'm sure your parents instilled that in you as well. Helping students gain and use that power is what we do best at the Grove School of Engineering, at City College, and the City University of New York. So why do we do it best? It lies with our greatest strength. It's human capacity, human capital. Our human talent is boundless, and it allows us to train strong engineers and conduct world-class research. Among many things, our talent is seen in our students winning national competitions and fellowships. We can compete with the best in any part of this country. 
Our faculty receiving record funding for their research and publishing in the best journals. Our faculty and our students serving as innovators and entrepreneurs, going on to start companies. Our students going on to graduate school and professional schools and securing great opportunities in industry upon graduation. What we are limited by, however, is our resources, our infrastructure, and physical plant, which have not kept pace with our phenomenal growth, our record achievements, and our potential. My vision for our future builds on our strengths and positions engineering as the driver for interdisciplinary collaborations, innovation, entrepreneurship, new models for the best education and research, integration of research and education, experiential learning, leadership development. We are the flagship school of engineering in the City University of New York system. We are the only public engineering program in the City of New York, and that uniquely positions us as major contributors to the research and educational profile of City College and City University of New York as innovators and leaders with global impact. To guide us over the next five years, I've outlined five major goals along with some initial strategies to achieve them. And I'm going to give you a brief overview, uh, briefly, uh, to give you an idea of what we're thinking in terms of goals for the future. Some strategies and a few ex ex specific examples of things that are either already underway or that we have planned. Our primary goal is to first develop sustainable infrastructure to support teaching and research that keeps pace with a rapidly changing technological and real world landscape. Our strategy to do that is to generate new resources, to promote collaboration, to build and support appropriate staffing, and to improve our physical plant. So some actions that we've already undertaken, we hope you come back and visit us in the spring because we have a plaza, plaza improvement uh, plan. If you come back in the spring, there are gonna be beautiful uh, benches, tables, umbrellas, you can um, come have a party with us in the spring. So that's one of our plans. That's right. <laughs> and we'll bring the good weather with us. We are doing some other things, like we're having student teams that are, are going to work together towards designing some new um, aspects for our lobby. Because as Carl mentioned, we're very excited about having some communal spaces, some places where students and faculty can come together and interact. We are also working on some hiring to, be, to position us to better carry out our work. We have a search in progress now for Associate Dean for Research, as well as a dedicated development officer for engineering. Our second goal, we like to provide unique and distinguished undergraduate education to prepare engineering leaders, innovators, and entrepreneurs of the future. And I'd like you to, to think about this for a minute because our ability to s promote new innovative education is a real opportunity to carve out a niche for the Grove School of Engineering. If we tie in our unique background, unique programming, education that's integrated with the cutting edge research that's going here, and then tie that in with experiential learning where we have a goal that every student that comes through here will not graduate without some opportunities for internships, summer jobs, co-ops, service learning, integrated in a way that anybody knows if you want the best education in engineering, you come to the Grove School of Engineering at City College. One of our strategies is to enhance our recruitment and retention. And to do that, we're going to do things like develop new programs <coughs> that do the integration that I mentioned. We're going to provide mentoring and professional development for all of our students that's toward clear career paths. So when a student comes here, they will have some understanding of what that education can do for them. And all of our alumni have already been playing very important roles in helping us help the students see what the, group, the degree uh, allows you to do. We're going to enhance our teaching labs. We're going to enhance our classrooms. And we're going to, again, enhance the spaces to have those interactions. 
It's all about the community and building the community. There's so much more learning that happens outside of the classroom that we want to capitalize on. Thirdly, we like to enrich and expand our graduate education and research through interdisciplinary collaborations in strategic areas such as health, energy, and the environment. Our strategy is to grow and sustain our graduate program by expanding existing and creating new mechanisms to support our research. This could be things like training grants, working with our alumni, working with companies to provide opportunities where we can work together. And I have a specific example for you that we're really excited about. Right now we're in the midst of developing and implementing a brand new program that's called uh, Masters of Science in Translational Medicine. This allows us to be at the cutting edge to bring translational medicine as a degree program. And I'll, I'll read from our proposal that, by the way, has just been approved at the City University of New York system level. We want to provide opportunity for students from diverse academic backgrounds to gain expertise in applying translational science and engineering approaches to produce practical solutions for health. We would bring students in, they could be from the medical environment, they could be engineers, we will train them specifically how to do design, how to understand regulatory uh, processes and guidelines to end up with products that impact human health and impact our communities. We want to increase fellowship and professional development opportunities. And we, as a result of our work, are confident that we will increase our national and international visibility. Fourth, we'd like to recruit, retain, and promote a diverse world-class faculty. And those of you who've had an opportunity to know any of our faculty, you know we have some of the best and brightest faculty, the most engaged faculty that you can imagine. We want to support those faculty. We want to promote excellence and expand their opportunities for growth and recognition. We could do things like providing additional faculty support for our faculty members, mentoring programs, providing seed funding for collaborative research across disciplines. And we really do see engineering as a real driver for not just pushing the interdisciplinary work that we can do within the Grove School of Engineering, but we are crossing boundaries. The master's program that I told you about, for example, we are working in collaboration with our School of Biomedical Education, but engineering is the driver. And we could do that in many areas with other schools like our Colin Powell School, like our uh, School for Humanities and the Arts. So there's many ways that we can exert that leadership and we are doing so and will continue to do so. And I'd like to leave you with the fifth goal. We are serious about strengthening our alumni relationships. Our alumni mean everything. When our alumni leave from the Grove School of Engineering, they're our ambassadors. They're the ones, as I said, come back and help us train the next generation. So we would like to increase and enhance interactions and communications between the alumni. We like to build and sustain those relationships. We are doing, or we plan to do things like have a regular newsletter, for example, and other regular communications so you know what we're doing. Get you on campus. If you can't come on campus, we can send you notes and let you know what's going on. We want to have efforts that some are within departments in terms of disciplines where, for example, we have many civil engineers who may come for a career day. We have others who do the same thing. We want to make sure we're doing school-wide activities that are supporting all of our students, giving everyone these opportunities for career development. We like to engage our alumni when we work to provide these experiential opportunities for our students around learning. There's none better than your own alumni to help you when you're trying to engage the students in work opportunities, how to serve the community, and who better than the people here who were trained here and have gone off and served the world the way that they have. We'd also like to recognize and celebrate our alumni accomplishments. There's so many people who have finished from the Grove School of Engineering and have gone on to make such a mark in the world. We want everybody to know about it, not just here. So we're going to be doing many things to make sure that we are engaging, that we're communicating. We love parties. We will invite you to our parties. We want to celebrate the richness, the accomplishments, all that the Grove School of Engineering means, not just to us, but to the rest of the world. 
And I'm going to end by saying, success in meeting our goals, it's going to lift us to higher places. It's going to lift all of us. It's going to increase our research footprint. It's going to secure our place as the best value, innovative engineering education <coughs> in the country. And it's going to competitively position us for the future. Thank you very much.